Darwinism versus Christianity. Quick analysis. Okay, I'll give you one. Darwinism doesn't exist. It's a made-up term from total idiots. So it's actually nothing versus Christianity. And in my opinion, nothing wins. Because Christianity is probably bollocks. When you're going down the street, whoever has seen a Darwin fish on their car? When you're going down the street, who has seen a Darwin fish on their car? What, did you not notice that that was a thing there on your own vehicle until you were moving at speed? Man, there's a lot of things wrong with that. I mean, you guys are all creative boys, right? So I'm amazed you would have a sticker that makes fun of you on your own car. And do you only check for stuff while you're driving? Isn't that a little distracting? Ironically, making you quite eligible for a Darwin Award. Died hanging out of their window while driving looking for a f***ing fish. Oof. I mean, pretty much everybody, right? There's no denying that people today are fans of Charles Darwin. Right. One, pretty much everyone has seen a Darwin fish. Okay, I'll be honest. I don't think I've ever seen one in person. But that's probably because of the actual reason people have Darwin fish on their cars as opposed to what it is designed to poke fun at, the Jesus fish. It's because almost no one in my country has either, so they feel no need to have the former because that's the thing. No one has a Darwin fish because they are fans of Darwin. They have them because you have the other. That's it. It's a funny juxtaposition to have a famous science guy versus a famous fake dude. There's not really any more to it than that for like 99.9% .9 of people, I'm sure. We're going to compare Charles Darwin to Jesus Christ. We're going to compare the world's model to God's model. Model? Model what? What the hell are you talking about model? Neither Jesus nor Darwin are really models of anything. They're people. Well, one of them's people, the other one's a fantasy guy. But let's just say your model idea actually meant something. Okay, maybe Jesus is God's model for the world. Okay, fine, I can get with that. But that Darwin is the world's model for anything? At least specifically and worldwide? What's utter nonsensical claptrap? Like seriously, if you asked 100 people what they thought the world's model of a person was, I would bet you anything that none of them would even think to say Darwin. Maybe if you did a thousand or ten thousand, you might get one or two, but I still doubt it. Just what utter trite. They, they, and this one cracks me up so much. It's got the Darwin fish eating the Jesus fish. So what they're trying to say is Darwin was better than Jesus. Cracks you up? Yeah, because it's supposed to be funny. It's a representation of survival of the fittest. Jesus is a poor explanation for how the world works. So it get it. But it's not a serious statement of intent. And if it is, it's a fucking silly one. But no, it's a joke. Almost as much of a joke as your opinions are, Matt. Although certainly not as funny as the things you think are true. Notice what Charles Darwin says. Anybody that puts those bumper stickers up, just keep in mind they don't even know who they're referencing. Ugh, it's not about Darwin, it's about evolution, you moron. They aren't actually referencing Darwin when they use that. They are referencing the idea that he popularized. Whatever the man might have said is kind of irrelevant to that. He could have said, actually, it turns out evolution is not true. You see, I was talking to my skyfish friend and he said, oh, turns out I pooped out all the animals and now I don't believe in evolution anymore. It wouldn't actually matter because he'd now be wrong and we would be safe to ignore that shit. Charles Darwin said, and I quote, he said, often a cold shudder has run through me. And I have asked myself whether I've devoted my life to a fantasy. Assuming that that's even true. Oh my god, Darwin was a reasonable person who had doubts. Well, that proves it. The fact of evolution am now debunked because a human did a thing that humans do all the fucking time. Yeah, no, this is nowhere near the slam dunk you seem to think it is, mate. In fact, if anything, it paints him in a pretty good light. Because as they say, the intelligent are full of doubt and dumbasses think they are the bestest brainers of them all. Or something like that. 
Charles Darwin was scared that he was living in a fantasy. The fact that you find that funny is so telling of just how stupid you actually are. According to that attitude, you must have zero doubt that you are correct about all the things you believe. You can't be wrong, and so you constantly will be. Because you're a fucking human being, a creature that is as flawed as it is able to do and make incredible things. At least theoretically, because apart from the ones who think they're perfect, they aren't able to do anything of value except maybe as being a bad example to everyone else. So, Pastor Boyle, if I got up here and I said, Pastor Boyle, I'm afraid that I'm living in a fantasy, would you trust anything that I'm saying? It would actually make you more believable, you absolute tool. It would make you look at least a little bit humble instead of this arrogant parody of an intelligent person we see before us. My God, are you actually serious? Seriously fucking stupid, that's for damn sure. You guys just have no idea how to people, do you? Obviously, you're just far too intelligent for reasonable doubt. That's how you know you're right all the time, especially when you're wrong. Do I even really believe what I'm saying? That's not what having doubts means, you fucking fringe. Oh my god. Doubt is normal and healthy, and it's what people who actually have self-awareness and self-criticism do. Morons, who are incapable of any of that, will plow forward with whatever asinine idea they are currently having. Because it will totally work, man. As they smash face first into a plate glass window, leaving an imprint of their stupid, opposed to the kick-ass stunt they thought they would be doing as a result of their dumbass actions. So when people say, oh, Darwinism is so great, founded on a man who was scientific. Oh my God, no one says Darwinism is great. Literally no one. And if they do, you should slap the stupid out of them. Because that's the most ludicrous thing I've ever heard for five whole minutes. An evolution, aka what you mean, isn't founded on fucking anything. It's a simple fact about the universe that we strive to understand. No one needed to found it. It was merely discovered to happen, and then the explanations were worked on from there. Look, folks, Charles Darwin couldn't even get a job. In fact, his dad had to get him a job. He was so scientifically illiterate. Whoa, calm down there with the Omni claims, buddy. I mean, you just contradicted yourself for a start. He couldn't get a job, and then he got a job. With help, but fuck me, how many people get jobs with help? Like, I bet it's a lot of them literally does nothing to their character and certainly means diddly fuck all about whether or not the discoveries they make are true. And the unscientific bit? If Charles Darwin was unscientific, whatever the hell you mean by that, you must be negative a trillion anti-science. Which does track, to be completely fair. He couldn't even get a job. The only thing that he was capable of doing was changing biology as we fucking know it. And bear in mind that no matter how much you don't like evolution, no matter how many times you say that stupid, ignorant, fucking catchphrase, it's just a theory. No matter how stupid you are, evolutionary theory is used constantly to make all sorts of medical discoveries. It works. And if it didn't, we wouldn't be talking about it. Actually, you know what? I bet it would. It's just you would be all like, haha, the actual science am not true. Because this thing that was debunked years ago and not expanded on at all works with my philosophy, so it must be right. Was being a comforter for a ship captain as they were floating around in the open ocean. Bro, as I have said to you many times, even if that were true, why should anyone give a single flying jizz stain? That's not relevant to whether or not evolution is true. Much like even if the inventor of Crimsbianity was the most well-to-do smart guy with the ability to walk through walls, it wouldn't make Christianity true. That's not how facts work. Even the most capable person on earth is able to believe something stupid, and the most incompetent human alive can know things that are categorically true. The only reason you feel the need to say things like this is because of how staggeringly dishonest you are. His job title was just to give the captain somebody to talk to.
apart from the fact that that actually sounds like a kind of cool and interesting job, what gives you the right to act like that wouldn't be valid? I make jokes all the time about being a lazy YouTuber, but real talk, I know for a fact that I put in more hours than most of the people I know, and it earns me real actual spendable money, not a whole heap of it, but enough to get by for sure. Yet people to this day will tell me that it's not a real job. As if that f***ing means something. If you can get paid to do it, it's a real job. If you think otherwise, you're a f***ing idiot. <laughs> That's the best that Jarwin was capable of. Now Jesus was a carpenter. The combination of slack-jawed laughing at your pejorative school ground attempts at insults is almost as funny as, well, Jesus being a carpy boy, as if that's somehow more better than someone being one of the most influential people to ever exist. There were a lot of carpenters back then. That's not to say it's not a skill and not an ability worthy of some praise, but it sure as shit wasn't that special. Also, um, you know how it's bad that Darwin got a job through his dad for some reason? Well, the guy who would have raised Jesus, um, he was a carpenter. I wonder how Jesus got that job. Hmm. Even by your own standards, Jesus is literally no better than Darwin. You are such a dumbass. Jesus knew how to build things. Jesus is the creator of all things. Wait, 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 wait. He knew how to build a thing, but he also created all the things. So why the f*** was he a carpenter then? What a completely redundant skill set. That's like building a skyscraper inside of an identical but slightly bigger skyscraper inside of another identical larger skyscraper. Like some sort of insane Russian nesting scraper. And it would still be less full of itself than you are. The Bible says that before the world, he created all things, and by him all things consist. Oh well, if random old book says that, it must be true. No wonder you guys never seem to read anything else in the ever. Since apparently, as soon as you read a book, that book becomes your new truth. Eh, maybe it's a good thing. I mean, God forbid you f***ers read some Terry Pratchett. You'll be banging on about the great Artuin carrying the world on the back of four elephants and building scale replicas of Ankh Morpork before sundown. Actually, I take it back, that would be awesome. Go ahead. That's powerful. Darwin is weak. Anybody that puts that Darwin fish on their car, especially eating the Jesus fish, is a hilarious Chad. Also, Darwin is weak. What is this my dad could beat up your dad shit? Except in this situation, you know, my dad is real, and your dad didn't even leave to get milk slash cigarette slash lottery tickets. He was just never around at all. Shut your damn talk about being weak. Just goes to show they haven't even researched what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <whew. laughs> You're funny, you are. They're just the yes man for the government and for evolution. What the f***? Yes man for the government? Which government? I'm sure there are more than a few dipshits in the US government who think that evolution am just theory. And there are other theocratic countries that are probably the same. This is just because, as I have said many, many, many times, creationism is a conspiracy theory. That's it. No better than anti-vax bullshit and flat earth nonsense. So, Jesus never said, I'm afraid I'm living in a fantasy. In fact, Jesus spoke in absolutes. He says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Speaking in absolutes, the sign of an intelligent mind and not an absolute moron incapable of understanding how the universe actually works and believed by even bigger morons who need other morons to do their thinking for them. And if that thinking isn't black and white thinking, it must be wrong because even the smallest hint of complexity sends them spiraling into a void of confusion. You know, because morons. He didn't say, oh, I'm worried I'm devoting my life to a fantasy. How ridiculous. I cannot even begin to comprehend just how f***ing stupid Matt has to be to think that that is in any way, shape or form a convincing argument to someone who has any critical thinking skills whatsoever. And the fact that he's managed to find a room full of people so goddamn stupid they would buy into this and think that it's a good point is, frankly, absolutely terrifying. I'm astounded they haven't destroyed the planet with their sheer concentrated density. That people just on the foundation say, I believe in Darwinism. 
Darwin was illiterate, folks, scientifically. I know you are, but what was Darwin? Because that's just a lie. In case you thought for a second Matt was capable of being truthful. Not that any of these people have any idea what scientific literacy is or means, but yeah, Matt Powell is lying about something. Who would have thunk it? People say, well, Darwin, at least he wasn't a racist. Who? Who says that? Who has ever said that? No, seriously, I can't imagine a conversation that would start like that. Also, what makes you think Jesus wasn't racist? I mean, seriously, there's an entire story where Jesus says, I can't be racist because I'm friends with that one good Samaritan. The rest of them are obviously shit, but not a good look, bro. The title of his book is The Preservation of Favored Races. Which literally has nothing to do with any human definition of racism, you fucking idiot or liar, probably both in either order. Not to mention that a man as bigoted as you, the tirades you've gone on about how you really want certain people killed for how they were born, yeah, there's no small chance you aren't at least a little bit massively racist. Maybe you just keep it behind closed doors. But hey, if you aren't, then the best thing I could say about you is, Matt Powell, at least he's not racist. The most damning with faint praise I ever did hear in the struggle for life. You want to know where evolution comes from? It doesn't come from anywhere. Well, it does. It comes from nature, but it's not something that anyone created, not even God. The theory that Darwin kick-started merely explains the facts as he saw them and as we understand them today. That's it. Kindly shut the fuck up. Favoring supposed races. Nope, it comes from observations, you utter cretin. And look, I'm not saying Darwin didn't have some fucked up opinions. Fact is, everyone back then absolutely did. And I wouldn't be surprised if he held some too. But the people who wrote your book definitely had lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of fucked up opinions. So it's not exactly something that you're going to win on that front. But ultimately, it's not the thesis of his book. And if any of it was the most racist, homophobic or sexist or saying that whiskey is bad for you or whatever extremely wrong thing, that doesn't and will never change the fact that he is absolutely correct about the basic idea of how evolution and natural selection play a major f***ing role in the diversity of life on this planet. That's a fact. And your lies, misrepresentations and attempts at character assassination will never change that. Get over it. Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six's channel Spoonstar Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships and PayPal to support directly. Finally, Follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-